Hello everybody, this is Pleba here. I'm slaving away in the early morning in a small, well, the maps show that there's a privy here and uh, I had to uh, go through about a foot of tightly packed clay cap and uh, I'm still actually just getting down to the top of it. Uh, underneath that there was some old black top that I had to kind of fracture and move out of the way. But anyway, I've got a pretty thick looking bottle down here. I thought that maybe I would try to dig that out. There's a real serious pocket of glass right here. And uh, it looks like it might be a hutch soda. And in Denver, that's, you know, those are, we love hutch sodas in Denver. We don't, don't find pontled stuff out here, really. And uh, even just going out on the weekend to find a hutch can be a real challenge. So, there's lots of junk around this one. I definitely don't want to break it, but I'm hitting lots of aqua shards already. I mean, you can hear as I dig. So I'm optimistic that maybe the maps are correct and there actually will be a uh, an actual privy here that hasn't been dug before. Denver saw heavy pressure. You know, the first bottle diggers started out here in the 60s and 70s. So it's been a hobby for a long time out here. It's really hard to find something that hasn't been gotten into before. And, uh, so I'm thrilled just to see something. I've dug a lot of skunker holes lately, and I dig a lot of empty holes and all kinds of good stuff. I'm getting down towards the lip. There's a lot of plate glass in the way. And, uh, I should probably put on a glove to film the rest of this so I can brush around that a little bit better. You know, I think all of you that do this understand the excitement of this moment. You know, this is something where I've been digging into here. And, uh, I think that's going to come out. I think I can just kind of, boy, I don't want to push it. A little more towards the lip. A little more towards the lip. There's a big piece of iron there. be a new hutch soda for the collection. Still in there. And this is just the beginning, like I said, I'm just getting down to the top here. I guess this could be something not terribly exciting as well. Sometimes I get... Nah, it looks like it's a crown top. It's too long to be a hutch. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, it's a Neef Brothers Brewery. Great. It's uh, one of the local breweries, the Neef Brothers, and I mentioned this on my last, um, video that I did. I found a, a later Neef Brothers. This one is a wiped tooled crown top and this one's got that Star of David advertising. Neef Brothers Brewing Company, Denver, Colorado. That's one that I don't have for my collection so it's a great start. I'm very excited. Awesome. Alright, hi everybody. I'm back again. And I don't know if you can see, but right there in the light, there's another early crown top coming out. Now I'm still on the top of my privy here. And actually it's looking really good. That last bottle dates specifically to about 1898. So that was right on top of the cap. And as you can see, there's small slick medicines popping out. And uh, let's see here, where's my... Oh, it was broken. <laughs> I got fooled. It was broken. I popped that out and got a little slick uh, medicine instead. So, But there's interesting stuff in here. I mean, on top, a lot of this crown top stuff, this early wipe stuff here in Denver, you know, that's how you find your embossed sodas and beers. And Hopefully we get farther down, there will be blob tops and hutches. That'd be awfully nice. 
So, we'll see. I'll get back to you. Okay, I am back again. This trash pit is loaded with neat stuff. Lots of uh, 1890s glass. We got some Abramo seltzers. And I found this real cool 1890s aqua applied top uh, blown. It's kind of hard to see there. It's Fellows Syrup of Hypophosphites. So that's kind of a neat bottle. I'm in a kind of a shady spot right now, but. You know, and this is typical in Denver. Actually, it's got a post mold uh, base. I didn't notice that. So anyway, that's pretty neat. I'm very excited with that. And then I've got a soda bottle coming out down here and some kind of medicine bottle. So I will show you those as I get closer to getting those out. All right, everybody. It was a weird privy. We can't decide. It acted more like a trash pit than a privy. We didn't see seeds, but the, the map shows a privy here. But it was full of glass and bottles. There was some applied neck uh, whiskey flasks. It was mostly uh, some 1890 stuff, turn of the century. Um, the typical layering, lots of big animal bone. There's the nice pile we made. So you can see some medicine lips and various parts of the meals they ate. Uh, there's a big Duffy's malt whiskey bottle. We found lots of these green wine bottles. And then as you come over here, there was no shortage of Bromo seltzers today. Uh, lots of these bottles prepared by uh, Peter Farney, Sons Company, Chicago, Illinois, USA. Uh, Dr. Peter's Oleoid. Uh, a nice, highly whittled uh, green glass case gin. Um, and just some miscellaneous stuff. These, these cool bottles, the uh, Fellow Syrup of uh, Hydrophosphites. Nice color on those. So, that was the, uh, the day. Uh, not much in the way of local stuff, but, but um, it was fun. There was a lot of glass and there's that beer. So it was a good time. Another successful day on the dig and all the junk and looks like a bunch of homeless guys live here in the corner. Good stuff.